How many nukes would it take to destroy the sun? What if we pointed our most powerful weapons at the sun? Could we actually destroy it? Let's start with the Tsar Bomber, the biggest nuke ever detonated. It released about 50 megatons of energy. That's 50 million tons of TNT, or around 200 quadrillion joules. Sounds like a lot, but the sun pumps out that much energy every two seconds. To match just one second of the sun's output, we'd need 20 million Tsar Bombers going off at once. But we're not just trying to match the sun. We're trying to destroy it. That means overcoming the gravity that holds its mass together. Basically, ripping it apart. To do that, we'd need to inject about 1 trillion 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 joules of energy. That's 100 octillion joules. So how many Tsar Bombers would that take? Each one gives us 200 quadrillion joules. Divide that into 100 octillion and you get 500 trillion bombs, half a quadrillion of the most powerful nukes ever made. And that's assuming 100% energy transfer dropped into the sun's core all at once. Realistically, the bombs would just vaporize before reaching the surface. Even if we built them, launched them, and somehow survived the radiation, it still wouldn't work. The sun is a natural fusion reactor. It produces more energy every second than all the nukes humanity could ever build. So, can we destroy the sun with nukes? No. That's like trying to blow up a volcano with a birthday candle. 